Let's take a look at a few ways to create a new schematic using PADS AMS. First, I'm going to open one of my recent projects by left clicking on it in the Recent tab. I already had a board created in this project, but I'm going to delete it to show ways we could create a board from scratch. So to do that, I'm going to right click and go to Delete. It's going to ask if I'm sure. I'll click Yes. And now I need to create a new board. There's two ways to do that. First way is just to click New Schematic, and that'll create a new board for me. I'm going to delete this again. Or I could go to File, New, Board. Now if I want to create a schematic with this, I go to the PADS AMS toolbar, place a voltage source, place a resistor, and we connect these by just moving the pins close to each other, connect to ground, again move the pin close to the voltage source, you can add another resistor, And then I'm going to copy this ground by holding control and dragging off. And I'm also going to connect it to the pin right here. You can name this net right here, net1. And click enter. I'll simulate this design. Enable time domain. Give it an end time. Click OK. And if I look at the waveform for net1, I get half the voltage source. Let me close the waveform analyzer. So let's create another schematic. One way to do that is just to click the new schematic icon. And here, I could copy the circuit I had on my other schematic. I could select it all. Right click, copy, and paste. But as you notice, my net one got renamed. Why did that happen? Well, there's a safety setting within PADS AMS that when you copy a component, it renames them automatically so you don't accidentally short two nets that aren't supposed to be shorted. But since I'm just making a duplicate of my project, I don't want that to occur. So how do I turn that off? Go to Setup, Settings. Scroll to the bottom to Advanced. Scroll to the bottom here, and you'll see Unique Names on Copy. Uncheck this, click OK. Another safety feature is whenever I close PADS AMS and relaunch it, that feature is going to be rechecked. So if you ever want to go back and turn it off again, you're going to have to go back to Setup Settings and uncheck it. To show how this works, I'm going to delete the schematic again. I'm going to go back to Schematic 1. Select everything again. Right mouse button copy, go to schematic 2, and paste. And you can see that net1 retains its name. You could also, if you wanted to, right click schematic 1, go to copy, right click on blocks, and click paste. This also creates a duplicate of the schematic. What happens if you wanted to represent your schematic on multiple pages? You still want them to be electrically connected, but you didn't necessarily want to represent everything on a single sheet. How can you do that? Well, but to represent that, let's delete this right here. And let me name this net1. And now I want to create a new sheet. So the way I do that is go to File, New. And go to sheet and now I have a new sheet underneath schematic one so these are both considered grouped under schematic one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a net I can name this net one and by giving it the same name they're now going to be electrically connected I'm going to add a resistor and I'm also going to add a ground and now if I go back to sheet number one and I simulate it 
still have an end time on one millisecond. Click OK. And then if I plot net one, we get one half the input voltage source. That's how you create new schematics and new sheets using PADS AMS.